يتواصل البرنامج بتاعنا والليلة تأخر شوية عن مواعيده آه الآن يبدأ نادي المخاطبة للغة الإنجليزية فرصة بالنسبة للناس إنها تمارس اللغة الإنجليزية وتطلق لسانها يعني فنشكر يا أخوان الأساتذة أساتذة اللغة الإنجليزية على إدارتهم للنادي والتزامنا اليومي بإدارة نادي المخاطبة شكرا جزيلا يا أستاذ تفضل السلام عليكم Good evening. Uh, as the doctor Anu over here said that it's a time for practicing English language. Um, so two reasons for having an English club over here. Uh, the first thing is to reflect or to reveal our opinions for the outsiders, for the entire world. And the second reason is to practice English. So here you join us to practice English. To practice English. So here we don't speak as teachers as long as we can, but you let you speak. So we help you to speak. So this is the uh, our two reasons to have an English club. Uh, um, welcome, welcome again. So we're gonna start today uh, by discussing uh, discussing two uh, aspects or two topics today. Uh, I'm gonna suggest for you two topics, then you're gonna choose, okay? The first topic is uh, tribalism. Tribalism. So, loving your tribe, and you act according to your loving your tribe. Sorry for that. The second topic is nationalism or tri uh, nationalism or patriotism. Nationalism or patriotism. So loving your country, loving your country. The first one is loving your tribe, and the second one is loving your country. So if you'd like to speak, show me yourself, and the chances are here. Welcome all of you. Uh, did you hear the topics? So the first topic is tribalism, loving your tribe and acting according to the, that loving. The second thing is nationalism or patriotism, loving your country. Is that clear? So which one is better, loving your tribe or loving your country? Okay, uh, good night. Hello, uh, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, in the name of God, uh, the most merciful, the most precious. I'm so glad to be in front of you here. Uh, 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 I would like to choose uh, nationalism. Uh, uh, I, I do think it is so essential, it is so essential for us that to talk those days about this issue, nationalism. Uh, really, it is, it is important for us to talk about this. Uh, what means, let us firstly to make, uh, we should have to make definitions about nationalism. Uh, so when I uh, say that nationalism, so uh, we mean that. So uh, it is important for you that to love your country, and as you know, that days it is essential for us that to love our countries. As you know that we are going to change, we are going to change, and uh, I wish that we the change can be soon. So for that, it is important to talk about these issues. That days. Thank you so much. I do thank so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, if someone here said that I'd like to uh, to choose tribalism, what do you think? Yeah, welcome. Uh, 
Um, thank you very much indeed. Good evening, everybody. Really, it is my pleasure to stand in front of you today uh, to speak about a very important and discussable and very essential topic was so-called uh, patriotism. Uh, I'm, I'm against was so-called nationality or, or uh, I mean, sorry, I mean uh, tribalism. Um, uh, because really, really, patriotism, the only things that can unite us. Because patriotism, we lose. We lose our patriotism for long times. And you know what the reason for that? The last regime. We hated Sudan. We hated. So no one, for example, Sudanese people, they are not patriot. Okay? And, and you know what the reason for that? Because of Ras regime? Because we hated Sudan because we, we don't get what we want from our country. And that is why we hate the country. But in fact, we should have to love our country if we would like to build. If we would like to be so honored for other eyes, I mean, the other nationalities. So when we love our country, when we have um, a great patriotism, that means we love even the citizens. So we love the nationality, that means we love the citizens. Any person who holds the na Sudanese nationality, you're going to love him if he's your brother or not. If he's your sibling brother or not, because from the same country. So, but uh, tri uh, tribalism, it may lead us or it may generate something is called uh, hostilities. It generates uh, damage or uh, revenge full against each other. Because we hate each other. When we get back to tribalism, because we love our tribe, and they are going to say, my tribe is better than yours. And in fact, tribes, as the God said, people, they created as the different tribes so as to know each other. So we are already knew each other. We knew our tribes. So that's why it is not necessary to get, uh, to get back so as to know different tribes or something like that. And thank you very much indeed. I don't want to prolong my speech anymore. Thank you so much. Hey, but I have a question for you. For example, now, uh, if you have a company and you are the manager of your can, uh, company, so are you going to choose to hire, for example, your, uh, people from your tribe or people just that you don't know? So, for example, here, many people are here. Yes, I'm going to choose them randomly or just I go to my tribe and choose people that I know. For the people that I know, I trust them, right? But here, you don't know them, so you don't trust them. What do you think? Thank you very much, Indy. Uh, I was graduated as um, business management, by the way. So in our business management, we have a role or we have uh, something. It called the right person into the right place. So regardless of tribes, but I can choose the people according to their qualification. If they are well qualified, deserve to get these jobs it is highly welcome but if he is my brother but he's not well qualified for this person for this place i will not going to choose him anyhow good but here you, cho uh, you chose a person according to his qualification right but you don't know him maybe he's a liar okay but you know your brother okay the one who belongs to your tribe you know him for a long time, maybe uh, let's say 20 years, you know him and he's honest. Which one you're gonna choose? Uh, okay, liars or not liars, this it doesn't matter because there is a rules for work. If everybody is liars for himself or not, he will be fired because he knows that. In ancient time, uh, for last regime, why people they choose everybody? They say that uh, the person who belongs to the party they may choose him because if he's uh, loose or he get profit, nobody will choose him. But everybody, you select him by correct way and he is well qualified, he will keep his place because any uh, random things that he did, he will be cheesed from his work. And that's why he will be afraid. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I think it's clear. Uh, okay? For the people who've just come, we're talking about tribalism and nationalism. Which one is better? According to your op uh, opinion, yeah? Welcome. First of all, hello everybody. First of all, 
in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. I am so proud to stand before you. Today we went to talk about the partisanism and part tribalism. As you know, here in Sudan there is more than 100 tribes. And there we have 100 tribes and multi cultures and all this. The tribalism, tribalism is tribalism is is something that make us we are done become developing developing other other countries. As you know, tribalism is the personality personality itself. It's your personality. It is belong to your personality. Let us be a save ourselves. Let us be accept ourselves. It's not like tribalism. Here we have Sudan, we have a lot of multicultures, multi diversity of cultures, and we have multi language, multi tribes, and there's multi religious. First, we must let us to accept ourselves. As is all diseases, they are not united us. The one thing that unites us is Sudanism is united us. Let us first accept ourselves as Sudanese. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, once again, which is better? Tribalism or nationalism and why? Which is better? Yeah? Welcome. Welcome. In the name of God, the gracious and beneficent, prayer and peaceful for the Muhammad Prophet of God, a peace and blessing be upon him to smile and company. Having for the God, the gracious, the health and happiness, the peace, uh, asking God to prolong your life and realize your ambition. Hello, ladies, without, uh, or hello, gentlemen, without ladies, because we have no ladies here. So proud. Ladies that are watching us. <laughs> okay, never mind, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so proud uh, to see myself right in front of you, to share with you in a very good and uh, gorgeous and fabulous, uh, fabulous uh, topic uh, or two bilingual, bilingual topics uh, with their two titles, uh, tribalism and nationalism. So uh, I, I'd like to discuss about uh, nationalism. Why? Because. Uh, so that uh, my homeland is my mom and dad. My homeland is my mom and dad. So that's why I'd like to discuss about that. Yes. Uh, uh, secondly, the main reason which let, let me to talk about nationalism because uh, all of us, you know, that what is running now and we know that it's what is done by Sudanese uh, revolutionaries. So that's why because we are the son of our homeland. The other thing is when I, uh, when I want to dis discuss or to talk about uh, tribalism, that is, uh, we know that uh, what's happened in the previous years, the problem is we have uh, a tribal war, which happened in the four in, and in the different areas in Sudan, that is, uh, it led us to it learn us or teach us a lesson to be away from something called uh, tribalism. Why? Because we are suffering from it. The tribalism generates bad behaviors or misconducts among the communities such as segregation, segregation or secession, reparation and uh, deterioration and more things that uh, happened in the previous years. So the, the lessons which were, which were taught by the tribalism are well known and kept in everyone or each person's mind so that uh, we have to be away from something called uh, uh, tribalism when someone asks you about what's your tribe uh, my tribes i'm sudanese we have to know all the sudans because we are sudanese sons so that's all this uh, 
That is all. Uh, when I want to talk about uh, something called nationalism, there is a large chance, very uh, good and very racist topic uh, to discuss about. This has happened enough chance, happened enough opportunity to express about more, but uh, I shall confirm for you that uh, in other opportunities we shall talk more about this. Uh, and nice thing. Thank you for this uh, opportunity and thank you for listening. You have a good night. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Yeah. There's still the, stay, uh, the same question. Which is better, tribalism or nationalism, and why? Huh? Which is better, tribalism? For example, if I said that tribalism be is better, are you gonna kill me? No. Says, so I think so. Tribalism is better. No. Yeah. Tribalism is better. Huh? What do you think? Yeah, come. Tribalism is better than nationalism, right? Uh, I think uh, I will respect you. Because you said, uh, according to your understanding or your con conception, uh, your uh, tribalism is better. But according to my understanding or conception, it's not. Because uh, I think tribalism means uh, uh, tribes. Uh, tribalism means sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I guess uh, there are some states that say that uh, uh, yes for tribe, but not for tribalism. Because tri a tribe, you can uh, uh, your tribe represent you, uh, represent you for the another tribes. But I think when you said uh, uh, said uh, nationalism. That means you reflect our, your country for the another country. Uh, you reflect uh, your traditional, your custom, or something like, like that. But uh, what your tribes here, uh, uh, for example, in our country here, for, for example, a lot of people say that from which place you are, or from which tribes you are. When you said, for example, from, yeah, yeah, some people are going to attract you uh, uh, like that person, no. Something like that. Okay. Sorry. Very good. Uh, I have a question for you. So you said that you're gonna reflect your uh, traditions and cultures for the other countries, yeah. and the same. If I'm from uh, X tribe, I'm gonna reflect for the other tribes and for even the the entire world that I'm from X tribe. This is my tribe, and I'm proud of that. Yes, I'm proud for uh, to mention my tribe so to another person. But sometimes when you uh, said my tribes are uh, like extra tribes, some people look like this person uh, not deserve to respect him from uh, because he come from that place and that people. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, there is no ladies, only gentlemen. Uh, first of all, um, I would like to thank you for being here. Uh, the topic is really interesting. Um, as it is said that tribalism versus nationalism. So uh, really the topic is um, very wide. We can discuss about it, especially in Sudan. Sudan is one of the countries that, um, let's say, in a third world country. Uh, especially in a third world country, you will find that the tribe is the main uh, body representing people. So this is the origin of things. Um, as uh, a speaker said that, belonging to a tribe is not a problem. But having tribalism in your heart is something really bad. And I do remember that when uh, we came to university as junior students, we introduced ourselves, we got to know each other, and then when gave we, some of my batch, when my given to them, um, they say, okay, my name is uh, so and so and so, I'm from so and so, um, my tribe is so. I got very angry. Why did he or she mention the tribe? I got angry. A Sudanese, when you say, okay, I'm a Sudanese, I'm from Al Gadari, I'm from Jirena, so uh, that's enough, okay? So if we think by that way, I think we are going to eliminate the issue of tribalism. 
Um, also, one of the things that uh, I feel very angry when I see a Sudanese driver when he puts a tri his tribe's name on his car. Really, this is there is no need for this. This is something really uh, ne negative. And as coordinators, we are not here to speak, but we are going to facilitate for you to speak here. So what do you think about this topic? The topic of tribalism versus nationalism. What is your ideas? We need di different ideas, different viewpoints. So the podium is yours. So the chances are open. So yes. Yes, of course. OK. So uh, you, you said that there is no problem from being uh, from X tribe. Um, and that, uh, for example, that's your tribe. But how can we differentiate between uh, being from exit tribe and tribalism? What is the line that differentiates between, so for example, I'm belonging to exit tribe, but I don't have tribalism. How could I be like that? I, I think that uh, the differences between belonging to tribe and having tribalism uh, always appears in your in your behavior the way that you you interact with people um when you have tribalism in your heart you're going to see other people as you know lesser than you you're seeing yourself as better better than them so this is the bad and negative idea of tribalism and as the consequences of having tribalism in your heart you, you can see wars and conflicts. For example, in area of uh, uh, Kurdufan states, you will find conflicts. This is an armed conflict between tribes due to having tribalism in their, in their hearts. But belonging to tribe is no problem. Yes, I have my own tribe, but I'm not going to say, okay, my tribe is so and so and I'm proud of uh, this tribe. So this is the difference, I think. Thank you so much. Uh, again, uh, tribalism, nationalism, what is better for you? I think you have an opinion. Come, come over here. He wants to speak, yeah, come over here. Yeah, okay, welcome. It's just... Yeah, welcome has just come by chance, right? <laughs> well, thank you very much. Um, I, I think what you talk about has to do with the paper. I mean, like it somehow. You know, when I'm, I'm just uh, taking this paper on the street, many people ask me a question why I'm telling them, yes, I'm Sudanese. And Sudan, Brexit, uh, uh, or exit from the Arab leagues, it has to do with our identity, who we are. It has to do with our belonging to the Arab League in terms of business point of view, and in terms uh, of nationality point of view, and in terms of whatever. But as we talk about tribalism, I believe tribalism is one of the very, very dangerous uh, weapon that has been used by the previous regime. By the previous regime, for example, the area where I come from, we have tribes. Now, when, when there is a tribalism, when there is a tribal conflict between this tribe and that tribe, the government come to the space and tell you that this is your uh, side and this is the other tribe's side. Now, if you uh, uh, exceeded that side, then you are in trouble. Even our country as Sudan has been, uh, uh, has been divided into tribes, which is very bad. But I believe that tribalism, it's okay. God has created us with our tribe. You believe in your tribe, you have your tribe, but that does not mean that you are better than the other one. I have been to so many places. Last uh, two years, I was living in Rwanda. You all know what Rwanda. I want to just tell you what the lesson I have learned there. If you ask somebody what's your tribe, it's a big problem. If you ask somebody what's your tribe in Rwanda, it's a big problem. You might go to jail. Why? Because the tribalism has cost Rwanda more than 170,000 people were dead. That's why they stopped something called tribalism. Today, Rwanda is exceeding one of the very first, fast economic and the best countries in Africa, but it's right now even competing on the world. One problem, tribalism in Sudan. I can give life example for myself. 
in the region where I live, Dafu, my family has three tribes. And I think anybody here in Sudan, you are not only one tribe in your family. One of my family tribe is different. The other one is different. You know also then is, uh, they have something called uh, polygamy. We, we marry a lot. My father has different wives. The three wives are, are all from different tribes. When the problem has happened in the region Dafu, I find my tribe is divided. I look at my brother, my half brother, which is from the same father but different mother, looks at me like I'm from another person. I'm coming from somewhere which is not belong to. That's what I'm trying to talk about. Tribalism has divided us. Until today, the result of Kazan system, I, I, let me say, let me give it Kazanic system that even if you want to marry someone, you cannot marry them because of different tribes, which is very absolute wrong. So tribalism, I don't prefer it. I keep myself. Now, personally, I, I removed myself from anything called tribe and I belong to the tribe called Sudanism. That everybody is Sudanese, everybody is there. And finally, I have one more point, which is the last point, I believe in that one. Tribalism caused us two things, inferior, inferiority and superiority. Because you see that your tribe is superior, then you are better than me. I see myself, my tribe is inferior, then I am less than you. But in fact, we were created equal in terms of liberty, right, talk and freedom and everything. So this will not give us an opportunity to move forward. If you believe you are better than someone else, you are still there. You cannot move everywhere. And the other important thing that tribalism has caused us in our life, especially as Sudanese people, that we close ourselves in a very small box. We don't go out. We don't think to interact with other, with other people. We close ourselves in that one place. So if we look at ourselves, you know, look, when you look at Europe, in Europe they don't call themselves tribes. They call themselves nations. When there is a problem between tribe and tribe, they call it a problem between nation and other nation. Meaning that tribalism can divide us into small teams, into small kind of people. This kind of human being, we must all belong to the tribe of humanity, but rather Sudanism. Thank you so much. Wonderful speech. Uh, I think he has put a dot in the letters. And that's it. Thank you so much. We are uh, so happy by having or by giving a, a living example from Rwanda and from your tribe. And we respect the thing that you've said. Thank you so much. Uh, would like to be over here with us. Thank you. Uh, yeah, but your logo. A chance? Yeah. Welcome. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you very much. Really. I appreciate uh, this kind of uh, dialogue or conversations or uh, we can call it uh, as a symposium and uh, these days as you know that we are feeling free of expressions and this is the life that we are looking for Sudan people have returned back centuries because of tribalism here we have to believe that we are one nation we are Sudanese no problem all we are coming from tri uh, tribal tribal groups tribalism as we believe in Islam that that means love tolerance these kinds of tolerance and love give priority to the humanity to go forward and to ask why we are tribal groups. To be tribal groups, that's not negative, but the negative that when we use this tribal, uh, tribalism in a very bad usage. One of the best answers to be tribalism, people 
that to go back and look for Sudan nation centuries and to look to the current and modern life always we are going to uh, uh, compare our life with the European sample it's a sample because Europe is the sample of civilization culture and as my uh, uh, colleague here uh, before answered that they use one nation nation is the terminology that all we should agree to live in tolerance and love nationalism nationalism and tribalism both of them we can use it positive and negative negative side is that we will go back centuries and we can create problems create problems in our small families in our groups in our communities and that will let will not uh, progress our sudan now we have to believe that when we say freedom freedom we have to believe that freedom is a kind of expressions and believe that every one of us should know what is freedom freedom of of expression freedom of taking part of your life very very positive fair as we know that when the french revolution in 1789 uh, came into life you know that fraternity legality and uh, equality so that this is a kind of expression that freedom peace justice so this is a part of uh, the current uh, uh, symposium i came late here just i copied two messages about nationalism and uh, uh, tribalism but next time when we come early we will uh, participate uh, in a very good way and uh, in a complete uh, manner. Thank you very much. And all of you believe in Sudan that we are one nation. Believe that we are one nation. We will not be people if we didn't put our Sudan in front of our eyes. Those people here today for about 40 days of sitting in this area, the military headquarters here. This is the place that can represent us because we came here, we came here to defend ourselves and to take our rights from this side. This area, military headquarters, we can say this is belongs to us. You, all of you, you have to believe in freedom, to believe in uh, democracy, but by the protection of the military uh, military headquarters to keep and save our next coming constitution in Sudan. All you have to protect your constitution in the next time, and we are going to be transformed to civilization and civil government. Uh, government. All of you, take care of your country. Take care of your civil government. Support it. We all protest for five months, but we came to the current time to take our role, to defend our government, to defend our uh, freedom, to defend our justice, to defend our peace. If there is no peace in this country, we will not be each uh, other, each one of us are brothers. Peace, that means peace internally. Tolerance, love. Detest is not allowed. Detest is not allowed. Peace is only the fixed 
and uh, we all believe it. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, once again, for the people who've just come, you're talking about tribalism and nationalism, yeah? Welcome. Welcome. Uh, so first of all, thank you all of you here. And the second, by the name of Allah, who created me and you in a different way, according to the wisdom that he knows. Tribalism and nationalism, it is not crime. Any term of these two terms, it is not problem. But it, yeah, the, 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 the problem it comes according to ideas, according to how to use the term. For example, tribalism, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that he created us as a tribe. For what? To know each other. But when you use, when you feel in tribalism way to see yourself that you are better than another person, he will be the problem will come. Because when you feel, when you feel that you are better than me, it will be a problem. Already, I will feel that I am better than you. Here it will be two problems. How we can solve these two problems? The problem here will be, as I solve in this uh, way, I think that nationalism is the biggest than tribalism. When you become national, national as the Sudanese, here this is a big chance for us to go forward. Because when you think tribalism, or tri in tribalism way, it's not something good for us to go forward. And we are suffering a lot from this tribalism. In Sudan exactly, here in this uh, country, the part of African continent, we are suffering, suffering a lot of, uh, from this tribalism. Until here we can say stop for tribalism. We are not going to, to suffer or to fight the tribalism again and to, to bring the problem again. Because of the, the ex X system, the Kazanism, the Kazanism system, it can, the Kazanism system, yes, <laughs> because it is bad, it is bad, it can, the, they are, they are going to, to make the, the difference between the people according to their, their tribes. All the person, all the people who knows where they are coming from. Yes, all the people, they have no problem. But the, 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 the system, it calls some tribe to see themselves that they better than Another tribe, because he has M, he has M in order to, to reach this M, he has to to show to show um, to say for uh, some people who are better than and uh, this tribe. My speech, or I need the substance that I need. We have to say stop. Enough, it's enough. We are suffering as we come here as Sudanese person. We are coming here from Eastern, from East, from South, from all the. Uh, area of Sudan, we are coming here to this place to say we are Sudanese. We are not Arab, we are not Africanism or something like that. We are Sudanese. Why we are Sudanese? Because we need to, to build this country as any country. Look as a, uh, for the other country, people they are becoming nation. United States of America, United uh, Arab, Arab nation, a lot of people. But why we are suffering until now? Yeah? Why? We have to ask ourselves, we have to understand the lesson carefully. We have to understand the lesson. All this time we are not understand what the lesson is. 1300s, we are not understand what the lesson is. And now the time is coming, the chance is around us, the football in our uh, football. We have to take the, the chance. We have no time. We have no time, guys. Well, now we are suffering a lot as a nation. As all of us here, we are suffering. All the people here are suffering. Every person here, he, he comes to this place, he needs the Sudan to be better. All of us, we need to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all of days to see the Sudan in, in great, uh, in great uh, situation. We come in here to show the people that we are Sudanese here. All of us, there is no differentiation between us. And any person who try to make a differentiation between us, we have no chance for his. All of us, when we came here, see all of nation. As you, the people say that, all the, the country are therefore. 
Ghosts appears to say that those uh, people they are coming to make some differentiation. All the people here from this place, from Western, from uh, East, they came, all the people are from that place, all the people. Therefore, we are Sudanese. This is, the Sudan this is our identity. To see, to see the people that we are Sudanese, we are the, we are the people. We have humanity, we have to, to build our humanity, we have to build our country, we have to build our identity. We need identity, yes? There is a two kinds of identity. The personal identity, for example, you are from uh, which tribe, it's not a problem. And there is a tribe, identity tribe, it's not a problem. For the Gawa, something like that, it's not a problem. But there is a the national, the national, uh, the national, uh, the country, the national, the, the identity of the country. For example, as you Sudanese, as Mr. Uh, he speak before me, he came here, he said to ask the Sudanese people to, to accept the Arab League, yes? Because there is a problem here. Why you go to that place? Why you go? All the, all, all the Sudanese are Arab? This problem here. This problem will not make. But there is a person who makes this problem. He has aim, he put us in this problem. All this as a problem, we are here, we came into the revolution here to solve this problem and a lot of problems in Sudan here. But this is, is a very important problem or a very, very important issue, have to take it the first. And after that, to come into nationalism, nationalism to see ourselves. And I believe that when we become as a one nation, we can do anything. Guys, believe me, we have a power. And power in what? Our power in our united. When we become united, we can do anything. But when we become in tribe and in a lot of things, we cannot do anything, guys. As you see that, when you come in to this place, all of us here, you are because you are uh, getting the Bashir from his chair. Where is he? Where is he now? He's out. And they, I know we have a lot of Al Bashir here. We have to go to make them outside. Yes. If you understand the lesson, how we can solve this problem, all of problem in Sudan. If you understand the lesson, you can solve it. But if we coming from this place and every person he see himself that he is better than other, it is not a like good way to solve all this problem. Our problem needs us to be nation, to be in united, to be in one hand, to solve all this, this problem. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much, wonderful. Welcome, welcome. So, thank you for everybody. Now, so as we can hear, so you say you're talking about uh, tribalism and nationalism. Oh. So, as we can hear, we come to express about uh, our own ideas of how to lead this country forward. Now. And in this case, we have to forget what is called tribalism because it is the, the basic area which destroy our country and make us to get this state of existing here. As we came here, we did not come because we love this place now, but we have a demand, we have a goal. For all of you, every one of you here knows for what purpose that you came here. You came to investigate your goal for the sake of your country, Sudan. But in this case, you have to forget what's called the tribalism. No. We want to reform the new Sudan to be like the United States of America. It's not impossible for us because we have a capacity to be what we want. And this is standing on your account or standing on you. You are the responsible to do what's better for your future and for the coming generation. So you have to stick on your demand. Love each other. Love for your country. Stand in front of your issue that you can hear. This is the bus, the, 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 the first message. I want to give it to you, to all of you here. And uh, I don't want uh, to speak anymore. So I got over the chat for my friends. Thank you very much.
Thank you so much, uh, gentlemen over here. Welcome. Thank you, people. So, uh, first of all, um, I want to speak about uh, tribalism as, a, as in history. If you come back to the time of uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. So, uh, in that time, they didn't have anything called country or nations or anything like this. So, the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, he uh, and, and and the Quran said to people, um, all of you, all of you, like like a Muslims, you know. He, you know, like uh, collect all people under the name of Islam, under the headline of Islam. He said to them, you are Muslim, and this is all. So, and um, why? Because tribalism is like bigotry. You don't know what, what do you do. You know, you don't know. You are no better than anyone else. But you are, you imagine that I'm better. I'm better because, you know, like, I'm better. Yeah, I'm better. You, you cannot, you know, you know, accept your idea if you come back and, like, uh, like, uh, reflect what, what are you talking about. So, and after that, in the United States and all around the uh, world, people, like, deny the area of tribalism all the people around the world look at the war you know why if if the tribalism is good so they have to accept it am i right so but they didn't accept it why because tribalism is problems you know right like uh, like right now here in sudan like uh, People they making problem, they making uh, and then therefore first problem between tribe, between tribes first problem in therefore like Rwanda like um, our friend here says you know in, in Rwanda they make problem they killed like thousands of people without any any like reasonable reason like in Greece in the past they make problem they they they, they make in war for for forty years you know forty years without any reasonable reason. So now the tribalism is so bad. But why we have to keep our tribe? We have to keep our tribe right now because our tribe is our culture, you know? Tribes is a culture. And the identity of Sudan is people depending on diversity. All of us, we have diversity, yeah. And diversity is a good thing because reflect us as a um, different human and how to accept this diversity, diversity and how to get better, get forward by this way and accept ourselves as Sudanese people, as a human being, as a people. And uh, the and another point, if I have any company, if I if I have company and they come to me, two person, one of them from my truck and another one um, I don't know from where and they are they have you know like same qualifications all of them they are qualified enough to get this um, uh, this place this job but I will choose the one from my tribe why because I know him or I don't know for some reason I will choose him but this inequality this injustice you know this injustice. Why? Because you don't know me. You will not. Take, you will not uh, give me this uh, opportunity. What is this? This inequality. And we are here to speak and to, uh, to to get our equality and our freedom and our justice. So we're looking for justice. If we said we will get, uh, we will keep on our our tribalism. So we will not get the real equality and real justice. Because this injustice to give anyone that you, you know or anyone that from your uh, tribe a job and uh, deny another pe another person because you don't know him or he is from another uh, tribe or anything, uh, everything. So just I advise you people, we are here, this Sudan, no one, every one of you is responsible. Every one of you is responsible from the future of Sudan you know all of you here you are responsible yeah 
So because of that, you have to keep on, you have to look for real problems, and you don't have to uh, act like by, uh, by emotion. You don't have to act emotionally. You have to, uh, to act like a, by, by right one. You have to look for right. If we, if we say that we'll uh, act like uh, emotional or something like that, we'll, we, we'll fail. We will fail, really. Let us, let us be on the right side of history. Let us speak uh, like clearly and look for our problems clearly by right way to solve it. If we didn't uh, accept our problem, if we didn't accept our, 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 our points, we will not solve it. So this is one of our uh, problems and we'll look for solve it. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. But I have a question for you. You've said that if you have a company and you have two persons, they have the same qualifications. And you said that you're not gonna choose the one that who belongs to your tribe, but this is even injustice. So you let him be away, right? No. For no reason. He had the same qualification that the other person has. My tribe, the one of my tribe? Yeah, you said that you're not gonna choose him. This yeah. is even injustice. But if we said we don't have any tribalism, I will not know, I, I, I'm not gonna know that he is not he's from my tribe or not so you know him both of them they have the same qualifications okay so one of them you know him yeah and he belongs to your tribe and the other you don't know him why don't you choose the person that you know him he has the same qualification that like the the other one why not why not because if you just l not to choose him so this is even injustice no 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 no, it could be it could be a problem, you know. If I if I didn't choose him, this not mean that uh, this injustice, you know. There are two, nothing, you know, like different them. So I don't have to different them by my uh, by my knowing or something like that. I could I could uh, differentiate them by another problem by another issues. I could ask them if you don't, if you have like uh, like, like the the job is a uh, driver. So if you drive and you found like by the way a problem and by the way problem and this place a water, uh, how you overcome this problem. So by the way, I, I could take the one who got uh, knowledge, imagine, I could, I could take anything, yeah, yeah, it could be solved, yeah. Thank you so much, thank you. You're gonna test them, right? Yeah. So that's it, this is my point, okay? Yeah, I think he's, got, he, he's not, yeah, he's not taking his opportunity. Yeah, welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Uh, I am very happy for the incredible uh, and extraordinary level of awareness that young people have shown today. I'm very shocked. I've been here for so long, I think 30 days, but I've never been around here. Uh, and I'm very happy to be around here today. Thank you very much. And uh, talking about uh, tribalism and, and, and the issues of uh, narrow issues of ethnicity and those things, uh, if we want to see ourselves 10 years ahead, a better country, a very greater than what we are today, we really need to go across what we are, what we are thinking of, of today. Because those issues are very, very matters. What matters is that the religion problems matters, the race problems matters, and the tribal problems matters, the foreman and ex-regime which is basically based on uh, tribal division. People are, div uh, are, are, are divided in all different tribes and all different groups, and they all come and fight. And that was very, very in the interest of the, of the former government. It is to serve only themselves. But I wanted to tell you something, the late, uh, the late, uh, the late, late uh, Mr. John Garang, he made his biggest philosophy is that there is no even uh, the, there will be no un there will be no unity in Sudan unless we get rid of all the things and we come all under the umbrella of Sudanism. If we declare that we don't care if you're an Arab, if you're an African, but if we believe that we are Sudanese and we all come together to develop the country, and we're having only one role. I think there, therefore we can have a developed country named Sudan will be competing in the international arena and in the civilization arena. This is what we wanted. But I wanted to notice one more thing is that, and it will be the last, is that people when they come in the sit in the military headquarters, there is one thing I wanted to tell young people. 
Yes, we come here, we defend the country, we feel all home, nobody is discriminated, nobody is asking about the tribalism, but the big problem is the time we live here, it is the time we go back to the to the uh, to our late mentality. The, when we go home, we don't defend the tribalism. When we go home, we don't ask people for unity. When we go home, we don't ask people to clean the streets. But what I want people to know is that this revolution has been created not only for just uniting people in this city and in this place what, what, where, we sit, where I stand right now. It has been created and built by young people like you and you as well to, to spread awareness all across the country. When you go back home, you are still revolutionary, you are still in the mission of cleaning your country from the corruption. And, 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 uh, and, one, uh, and the other thing is that that's showing the level of tribalism that is rooted in the Sudanese people in that. When you go to a restaurant, you found a Jali restaurant and a car behind the car, in the screen you find uh, with the Nuba and those things. We want to get rid of these things. Feeling pride of our, uh, of our tribes, we need to get rid of these things. And getting rid of these things, not feeling proud of my, uh, of my tribes. Yes, we know our tribes, we belong to them. And uh, uh, respecting all religions, I am a Muslim. Uh, I want to refer a small story for the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, the greatest of all. He was uh, from uh, Greece, if I might write. And there is so many different groups, but he was not a racist. He was proud of his proud of his uh, ethnic group, but he was not a racist. Being proud of your ethnic group doesn't mean that you are you are a racist person. But you need to be in a limit. You need to know where you act professionally. This is very important so that we can move. I think people, if they're not, don't know where. Very much. Thank you so much. So we know that tribes, uh, tribalism makes problems and conflicts, right? So because you're gonna say, for example, I'm better than them, okay? So you're gonna be in a conflict. The same, if you said that I'm Sudanese, I'm better than Egyptian, right? I'm better than Saudi Arabian, right? So I'm better than the, the rest of the world. So here you're gonna be in a conflict, the same conflict, but in a bigger way. How can you understand? Uh, well, I think you're asking me, we're, we're all living in the same country as Egypt is a, is a tribe, and Sudan is a tribe, and as well as Rwanda and those things. Uh, well, let me tell you this, the world is in competition. Saying, I am a Sudanese, I'm a better than Egyptian, I'm better than Rwandese, I'm better than Kenyan, that doesn't make sense, that doesn't make any problem, because you need to know the international arena of, of, of in the competition. It is the time you show yourself that we are Sudanese. We need to be in the top, brother. But what about the, wa the walls that are there? The wall is everywhere, right? Well, this is this is the greater aim that people all come together for. Is it is the competition and showing who how good you are, and in a representation of your country. And this is you need to know. You need to say that I am better, and just not saying this, proving this in action. Do you think that this will make problems? Will make zero problems. No, no, no. This will make zero problems, but it will it will it will contribute to the to the evolve uh, evolve of uh, the world. So the time I'm saying I'm better, somebody's feeling jealous. I'm not fighting me, no. He's going to go back and buckle himself down, go, coming back to the international arena, marketing himself and, represent, uh, and representing his country better than the way before. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Chances here because uh, we have little minutes. Uh, hello guys, uh, really, uh, I do appreciate your coming here. It's really wonderful. And today you look bright and you are like, you know, like you are frustrated somehow because like we are w still waiting for the, for the result to be announced, okay? Uh, so like this is, uh, this is the main reason. And according to the topic is uh, uh, tribalism. Uh, I only would like to, to say tribalism means language and culture, okay? Tribalism means treat right in a, inside a group okay this is the meaning of tribalism tribalism means love it doesn't mean that you know like you are from a certain group it doesn't mean that you belong to certain area it doesn't mean that i have a certain color i have a name of tribe that makes me uh, superior than yours and if we 
go to philosophy and remove the name of tribe and bring another word instead of tribe. So does it give this, the same the same meaning or would give the same sense? That means tribalism is a conception which is inside your mind. The idol you have had from your parents exists and remain everywhere. When you go, you remember that okay, a certain group or a certain tribe is better than us. A certain tribe is, you know, like as uh, inferior than us. Okay, the problem is in you. The problem is not in the tribe. Okay, every one of us uh, belong to a certain group. Okay, and the, the the idea is, okay. So, for example, you and I, okay. You from north, I'm from south. I get a tribe, and you get a tribe. Okay, so I do like your tribe because they doing something great. Okay, I appreciate it. And one of my parents came and told me a story of yours. Okay, it's just only one per one person has commit something very bad to the to to, to the cri to my crime. Okay, and that person blind to your tribe. Okay, they take the idea according to their uh, to, to to the point of the, to, to your to their uh, point of view and that's really uh, uh, a misconception i can say because you know like not only one person can mistake the whole tribe or the whole people okay maybe that was happened an accidentally so that me that, that doesn't mean that the whole tribe is mistaken and thank you very much okay and, and you know like you have to participate because you know this this uh, table is yours it's not ours okay thank you thank you so much before we sum up just the last chance over here uh, thank you a lot for the taking time uh, like, Thank you a lot for the taking time. Just only a little bit of a uh, 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 point that I would like to focus on, and I wish uh, for all of you that you are going to focus with me. You see, uh, uh, as you know that the, there is a many point that uh, led this series of revolutions uh, progressing until right now, as you know that. So we missed that uh, something called tribalisms you see so uh, what I would like uh, to request for all of you we should have uh, right now it is essential for us that to dismiss uh, I don't like to say for you that we uh, want to forget and uh, tribalisms so no we don't want to to forget and uh, it is a uh, uh, it is not uh, easy things for us that forgot, and we can't be. But just only uh, right now, the, the, the essential things that we should have to to focus on, we should have to focus to focus on nationalisms. You see, while we are going to focus on uh, for nationalisms, so can let our revolutions can progressing. And uh, we do believe that, I do believe it, and all, all of you, you, uh, you do believe that. Uh, so soon we'll, uh, we, will we will succeed it, uh, and soon we, uh, all of us, that we are optimistic that we can uh, succeed. This is our revolution, so we should have to focus on our, uh, you see, uh, nationalisms. You see, because by our nationalisms, so we can let out that to uh, to progressing and we are winner uh, by winning of that uh, inshallah soon thank you so much thank you thank you so much thank you so much yeah. a minute a minute assalamu alaikum okay my brothers i'm going to talk for the same book tribalism if I'm going to talk about tribalism, you can do it. Yeah, you are going to talk about America. My point: America is the hometown of tribalism. Why? There are people being created 
in the head of the other one. They dismiss a whole nation, dismiss a whole nation just to get land to live in. And after that, they remember that there are so few and need more men. So get back and collect men or women according all over the world. Black men, white men, blue men, pink men, whatever the color. Whatever the color of the men, it doesn't matter. It matter how good the men who go for America and what they want to do for America and what is their connection to America. Until now, I'm, I believe that the whole men, the green, get collected by lottery or anything else. They're not connected to America unless for the opportunities. America called in himself, herself, the land of opportunities, the dream. Okay, if we're dreaming, we should be having anything we want at the time we want it. That's not happening there. But do you know what is that? the best thing I ever exposed in Sudan that is happening? We dream about revolution. We get it. Why? Because we, had, we get what we have. In America, you cannot do that. They say there's a freedom. Okay, at night, you cannot walk with money. It's a problem. This is what I say. But, no problem. Drop it down. Maybe some people have no. But I want to say one thing. They have also said, black man die, live a bell. And white women die, live a billion. And they say too, God bless America and no one else around her. Why? We say, God bless Sudan and God bless Kenya and God bless Africa, all of it, and all of Europe, and God bless all the world to be one united. I think it is the right thing. Thank you so much. The last chance is me, because... Uh, hi, everybody. Good night. Uh, in my opinion, uh, the, uh, the tribe I love my tribe as I love my uh, town, or as I will love my uh, country, uh, because they they are both have uh, have a right place in our heart. You can love your, your if you don't love your parents, you will not, don't love uh, your country. So the tribe is your parents, and uh, the country is uh, your town or your your uh, the. Uh, uh, is uh, the place where you live. You love them both, equal, and uh, no, no, no. There is no underestimating for each one. No underestimating for each one. Thank you. Thank you. You love your tribe, but do not understand, uh, underestimate other tribes. Yes. So that's it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Welcome. Uh, thank you for. It. Okay, thank you for chance and thank you for the previous studies. Uh, I wanted to speak about the tribe and tribalism. When I say tribe, that means group of people. They have one culture or one uh, language and so But when they speak about tribalism, that use the uh, tribe by bad way. Uh, and I'm going to, uh, to respond for uh, two questions. You said that if you have a uh, chance for one job and uh, two persons applied for this job and they have uh, some qualifications. Uh, so in this case, maybe use lottery yeah? as, yeah, because uh, the lottery is uh, maybe the other uh, will accept, uh, accept the, 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 the opportunity. And I think the nationalism is not uh, against the universe and globalization. So if we I say I Sudanese, but I accept the others as human human being. Uh, like in the Quran, uh, when Allah said that uh, in this uh, word mean uh, Muslim, Christian, non-Muslim, and so on. So thank you for the chance. Thank you. The last chance will be here. Come on, I just came over though. Okay, just try to be short. I'll be a little leave right now. Why do you say over though? I'll be with me, she's the same for the right though. Here you go, that's it. The name of Allah is the most, 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 the most,
My name is Atay Khaled, and my tribe is Sudanese. <laughs> Sudanese. I'm just kidding. So, we talk on a lot about uh, tribalism and nationalism, but uh, I'm talking about the uh, solution. How we can uh, uh, fight uh, this, uh, this bad things. So, uh, the first thing I, I see, it's uh, about uh, education. From our education, we can, far, we can uh, fight this. So, and, and I can give you an example. Uh, uh, this one country do, do this from uh, his education. This country is Singapore. Singapore, when they are decided to develop themselves, uh, they found uh, a lot of things about this. Uh, because Singapore, it's, uh, it's uh, containing to many, many nationalities. Uh, and these nationalities, it, it's uh, like uh, Indian and Chinese and, uh, and Philippian. So the first thing they decided to do uh, in, in their education, they start f from language. They put English language, the first language, to, to no one feeling bad about their other. So, um, and in their education, make everyone talking with his mother, uh, with his mother tongue, to, in, in the group. And when I see you, you talking with your, you talking with your uh, mother tongue, that is uh, let me uh, know, or that make me uh, uh, learning about your mother tongue. So from that, they make, they make it uh, unity. So, but uh, for my opponents, I think, I have dreams. I have dreams. One day in Sudan, my children will go and getting everything they want without asking about their tribe, tribe and where they are and what was their colors and so on. So, so thank you so much. And thank you. Although I said that this is the last chance, but someone over here just came over here. I don't want to show the camera. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Just a minute. Like I'm being alone from the start of it. Okay, as basic like I'm talking about the tribes and things like all over Sudan. Um, you talk about saying before Sudan, Sudan had nothing to say before, by the way, because over here you can see like Sudanese people look like Chinese, in dark skin, look like Indians, in light skin, look like Europeans, in light skin too. But they all see Sudanese, right? So you cannot just commit it. Just like in color and shape. And the way we talk, like in the time we have, is the kind of all over. Um, that's how it goes, though. You know what I mean? And here, like, when you talk about your tribe, you only talk like you know, things like you brought up. 